Hi, today we're looking at doing the rear pad change on 2019 Jaguar XE. So I've got the battery charger connected, which is recommended when you're trying to do a brake pad wind back. I'm using a Foxwell NT530 with the Jaguar Land Rover software on it to put the rear brake calipers into service mode. This winds the motors back out of the way so you can then push the uh, pistons back in and change the brake pads as normal. So we've selected the model and year. So if we carry on following the on-screen instructions, we can get connected to the car. It takes a little bit of time to establish a connection to the car. But once we get connected, it will give us a full system list that we can choose from. We can read fault codes from the different systems, look at live data. But we're primarily just interested at the moment in the ABS system, which contains the electronic park brake function. And we can go in and then put that into service mode to retract those motors and let us get the rear pads changed. So let's go into control modules and scroll down to the anti-lock brakes. And now we can go down to special functions. And we're looking for the park brake uh, replacement. Uh, let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, release to service. So that's the function that we're going to want to use. So we've got release to service to wind the motors back out of the way. And then exit service is what we want to use then once we've changed the pads and want the motors to clamp back up again. So we've got on-screen instructions here. Some safety information that we need to be aware of. Yeah, so we've got the battery charger connected. And well, the engine at this point is already running, so we're good to go ahead. Now the status bar just shows us this procedure's in process. And we should shortly hear the motors winding back. Now the motors are out of the way, we're good to go in there and change the brake pads as normal and you can push the pistons back in without any danger of damaging the motors on the calipers. As additional confirmation that the procedures all work correctly, you can see we've got a warning on the dash now showing that the park brake system is in maintenance mode. Right, so that's all the rear pads changed and the new pads fitted. We're ready to go and clamp up the parking brake with the diagnostic tool. So we've connected the NT530 again and switched the ignition on. And you can see we've still got the warning on the dash for the parking brake being in maintenance mode. So let's go in now, connect to the car and exit the maintenance mode. As before, I'll go into control modules and then the ABS. And then the special functions and this time we want to exit maintenance mode. Remember to take note of the warnings and instructions that are shown on the screen. And we've 
we've also made sure that we've got a battery charger connected as with the release to service procedure and we'll start the engine and we can see now the process taking place of the electronic parking brake closing up and clamping the pads. And that's it. And we can see from the dashboard that the warning messages have gone. As a final check, we can just go in and read the fault codes from the ABS to make sure we haven't triggered any fault codes during the procedure. But that's it. Any questions or queries on the NT530 or any of our other diagnostic tools, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.